I am the executive chef here at uh, Garden City Hospital. Um, and the things that I love about this particular position is I have a, a lot of uh, creative ability and creative freedom here at the, the hospital. But the biggest thing that I really love about it is the challenge, the challenge of having worked in the past in either restaurants or hotels um, <clears throat> where butter, salt, heavy cream rule the roost. Um, here, it's a different kind of atmosphere where you have to be able to um, be creative without using the high salts and the, the high fats and things like that because of the different dietary needs that your patients have to be on. I graduated from the culinary program of Skullcraft in, in 99, and I think a lot of people give community colleges a bad rap. I mean, when you think about it, it doesn't matter where you go to school, it, it, it's what you put into it and what you try to get from the instructors and the, the people who are around you to develop yourselves. Um, you know, especially with Schoolcraft, their culinary program, with the chefs and the instructors and the things that they have there, they're just as top notched, in my personal opinion, as some of the places like the Culinary Institute of America or Johnson and Wales. You know, at the time I was taking uh, ice carving classes, the chef Dan Hugler, um, you know, really taught us a whole lot. You know, he was really into us doing competitions. He was really big in getting us involved in doing different things for bettering ourselves. Uh, Chef Chris Mesiak, um, you know, he taught me a lot. I would get up real early in the mornings with him and we would go down to um, the produce terminal in downtown Detroit, um, you know, at least once a week. And he would, he's the one who basically taught me, you know, this is what you need to look for in the freshest of fresh ingredients. And we would go down there and we would pick out all the ingredients that we would be using on the upcoming menu in the American Harvest restaurant. I've worked with people who have graduated from Johnson and Wales or some of the bigger, um, you know, the culinary institute, some of the bigger uh, named schools. And honestly, you know, when you talk to those individuals and you hear about how big their class sizes are, in comparison to how big the class size was at Schoolcraft, I feel like I got more of a one-on-one -on -one education um, in being able to develop my craft and my skills a little bit better than being put into a mass classroom situation. My advice to people who are wanting to um, grow in their careers is, you know, try as many different things as you can in this business. Learn as much as you can. You know, if, if you've worked in a restaurant and you've never done any banquets, go work at a banquet hall. As a former student of Schoolcraft College, I would recommend highly um, going to Schoolcraft College um, because the caliber of chefs that work there the vast majority of them are all certified master chefs, and for those of you who don't know, is a very, very difficult feat to accomplish. Um, and their goal by instructing you is to educate you on proper cooking and the techniques and developing your skill set and your um, culinary career moving forward. Learn what you need to know at Schoolcraft College. Look ever upward.